Uh, this is Scott from Get Clock. Um, tonight's video, we're going to show you how to uh, import some calendar items from Google. Uh, this one's kind of a hot topic. We uh, have had quite a few people ask us how to do this, and we really don't have the instructions printed out as best as we should. So uh, <clears throat> let's hope this video uh, helps you out. Okay? To insert or sync your items from your Google Calendar, we're going to go up to uh, Google Calendar Sync here. We're going to enter your account information. Okay, if you have uh, Google Apps versus a Gmail calendar, you may or may not have to use its HTTPS options. Uh, <clears throat> what uh, you should see here is uh, if it makes a successful connection, you uh, will be presented with the calendars that you have access to. So I'm just going to select my calendar here, and I'm going to click OK. Now, the <clears throat> my Google Calendar items if uh, you take a look at my actual calendar, I have three items for this week. One, a meeting for client one, client two, and client three. And when I do my sync, I see I have my client meetings for one, two, and three. You notice that they're in white because these are kind of temporary placeholder items. <clears throat> in order for me to link these to an actual product, uh, I'm sorry, project, I can come over to my project, highlight my project, and I'm going to link client one meeting to client one, and you'll see that it turns to the same color. If I want to uh, link my client two meeting to project two, I highlight my project two and double click my uh, <coughs> Google Calendar item for project two. Now, for sake of argument, I'm just going to leave this one blank uh, and I'm not going to import this one. So if I go to it the next week and then come back, you'll see that my temporary entries are gone. So uh, some issues that have come up with this are uh, occasionally if you... Um, sync to a Google Calendar you'll get a message that says that it didn't make a successful connection on the first try and unfortunately this is an issue with Google's API how we connect uh, typically uh, it will work if you just try it a second time and our error message actually uh, tells you that uh, <clears throat> another thing to note is that this is a full version of clock feature so if you do have the uh, free version, uh, you will not be able to sync your calendar to Google or Exchange unless you upgrade to the uh, Pro version. I hope that uh, clears things up for some people. Uh, as always, you can email us at support at getclock.com or visit us at uh, www.getclock.com uh, and you can uh, post some questions in our forum. Thanks, that's it for now.